Hello everyone. So I'm about to get out my fall and winter dresses to put into my wardrobe. I will be getting rid, not rid, of my summer dresses, putting them in storage to replace with these winter ones, but I will probably get out the summer ones a different day. So here we have a under bed bag of my fall and winter dresses. I'll be getting these out, laying them out on my bed, and leaving them there till I get out my summer dresses. And then I'll be folding up my summer dresses, putting them in here and putting them under my bed until the next season. So in addition to that, I also have this bag, which are the detachable pieces to these dresses. I store these away from the dresses because the metal on the back of these bows and such can actually cause rust marks on the dresses if you leave them on when you're storing them. So I always take off the detachable bits and put them in a separate bag to be attached later. So when I get these out, it's almost like unboxing a package of stuff that I already own. And one thing I want to warn you of is that I do not memorize the names of the dresses or know all the names of the prints and stuff, so yeah, if there's anything you really want to know what the name of it is, just leave a comment and I will figure it out. So these dresses, as you might assume, are primarily for Halloween and also winter months. And first we have this nice light one from Wamem Moitier. I was really excited to get this out again because this is Harpsichord Trio. And there was recently an interview with Mana where he said that this was one of his favorite Moitier prints. So that made me extra glad that I own this dress. This was my very first Moitier, and it is a one piece with a very high waist, kind of empire waist cut. And what I love about this dress is it has the elastic at the top on the shoulders. And if it were not for this elastic, I could not wear this dress because when I wear it, I have it fully stretched in order to get this waistline actually under my bust. And it has the most beautiful red cross lace. And I'm very sad to say that this lace actually irritates my skin. If I wear it all day, I will have marks on my arms, kind of sad. But other than that, this dress is really nice and it's a great long length. And actually this dress is a really light breezy fabric, but the reason I don't have it with my summer stuff is that I just never feel like wearing this in the summer. It just kind of has that more fall, october -y vibe to me. It's just not something I ever reach for in the summertime, so that's why it was packed away. And then here in a similar color scheme in a way, it's not black. But this is a candlestick JSK from Innocent World. And this dress I really think of as, you know, of course, a Christmas piece. It's really appropriate for Advent. It's really the only dress I have that is solidly in this um, bordereau color. I do have one that is actually full solid, but, you know, as a print, it's the only really bordereau print I own. And this is a longer length dress. I don't remember the exact length, but I think it's about 100 centimeters long. So a lot of my fall and winter stuff does fall into those longer lengths. And here's another dress from Innocent World that I think of as a Christmas and Easter dress. It's usually around after Easter that I get out my summer stuff again. So this I believe is called Cross and Feathers. And uh, this was my first Innocent World dress, and I bought this for my first ILD, which was, of course, December ILD, and I thought this was real Christmassy because in the Lutheran tradition, this real dark blue color is the color for Christmas. So, you know, with the crosses and everything, that's where I was going with that. And this has a detachable collar to it. Um, I think it's called a choir collar in their terms. And I do have that stored somewhere separately. I know where it is, don't worry. So I will be getting that out. But I like to wear it without because it's actually harder to cohort it with a blouse when it has that collar. Here I have another piece from Innocent World. This is just this nice solid um, collared JSK. 
as you can see it is solid down through the bottom and it has buttons going down the center and it also has a detachable little medallion thing and that does not have any metal in the attachment it's attached by buttons which is why it's still on there and um, this piece it is kind of a thicker fabric so that's why I really like this for fall and winter it goes really well with a turtleneck underneath it and it can also be worn with a cardigan and such but I originally bought this to just kind of wear as a real casual piece with a turtleneck here we have more innocent world this is Palace Rose in the navy colorway, and this has a very ornate print to it, and yes, it's wrinkled. All, all these things are wrinkled and will need steam the first time that I wear them. I actually got this from a Christmas Lucky Pack, not really a, a Lucky Pack per se, but it was called Christmas Set. Similar to their Halloween sets, it came with one JSK, a blouse, a pair of socks, and a hair accessory, and it was a full cohort. But that is why I own this dress. And to be honest, I'm still not fully sold on whether I love this dress. But it is so bold, and there are so many colors to work with in this piece. Especially if you look down at the little flowers there at the bottom. And then there are just so many things you can do with this dress that you can't do with other dresses in my wardrobe so easily. So that's kind of why I hang on to this, although I'm not totally in love with it. This one's also kind of longer. Uh, I don't remember the exact length, but 90 some centimeters. So yeah, lots of innocent world in here. All right, so here we're getting more into the Halloween-y type stuff. This is actually my first gothic print. And this is from Lady Sloth. This is the Ball at Miranda Castle one piece. And this is probably still my favorite gothic dress. This one's really wrinkled. I ordered this in the cotton. I believe she offered it in cotton and chiffon. I always order the cotton when I order from Lady Sloth. And the print is just like awesome. I'm sure that <laughs> if you go and you know look it up on Low Library, you can see it in more detail. It also has the elastic at the shoulders, which I wear fully stretched. This dress, actually, I ordered this in a small and I was right at the maximum measurements for this and I do wear it fully stretched when I wear it. So because of that I do order medium from Lady Sloth now just because I prefer my, st my stuff fully unstretched rather than fully stretched. And this has boning in the back which is really awesome so it does create a really nice flattering silhouette. And this is also my only gray piece and I ordered the head bow with that. And that piece has several detachable bits that I will need to attach. All right, next we have Fancy Egg. This is my first dress from Metamorphose. And this is the medium length dress. It's kind of comparable to Innocent World's long length dresses. This came in a set with a pair of uh, Harlequin print socks and a matching head bow and a blouse. And these were some of my first Lolita items because this was my first brand purchase. So I still really love this dress. And of course, I think of this as more of an Easter print because of the Pisanki eggs on it. And I actually, for some reason, also view this as a Christmas print. And I don't know why, but like I seem to have this memory of my grandmother making these eggs at Christmas one year when I was really little. And now I don't know whether that actually happened or not, but I kind of have that memory. So I do kind of associate this dress with these eggs as Christmassy as well as Eastery. And that has a detachable bow or two as well. So this dress is body line. It's really s similar, like extremely similar to a dress Innocent World released a long, long time ago. Um, this dress, when I ordered it, this was part of one of my early Lolita orders, and I ordered it in the summertime. I was so disappointed when I got this dress. This, the fabric on here is a real heavy jacquard, and I thought it was going to be cotton or polyester for whatever reason, and I thought, I'm never going to wear this dress. So I put it away, and what happened is winter came, and I got cold, and I ended up wearing this dress like more than any of my other bodyline dresses. 
Now one thing that's unique about this dress is it has these ties at the bottom where you pull down the ribbon and you know the tie goes up to display more of this chiffon underskirt underneath. And the first time I showed my grandmother on my mother's side, not the grandma I talked about before, the first time I showed her my wardrobe, this was actually the dress that stood out to her, which was interesting because it's body line. But she said that this was how her mother used to make dresses, was putting these ties on it. It reminded her of when she was young and her mother was making her clothes. And I thought that was just so cool. So this dress is actually really special to me, even though I did not like the fabric at first, just because of that memory with my grandma. All right, this is called Forest of Pipe Organ. It is from a brand, a Taobao brand called Eclat de Lune. <laughs> I believe that's French. I don't speak that language at all, so I don't know how to pronounce it. But my husband is a church organist. So that is why I bought this dress, because of the organ print. And this is a real nice JSK. I needed to have it in this color. And of course, I was unaware of it or didn't order it when it came out, so I had to wait for it second hand. And I did get a size that's too large, because that's what there was. But it has corset lacing, so I have it tied up real tight and it fits just fine. This dress. I wish they were higher quality. Um, one of the belt loops on the side has completely come apart, but the print is so pretty. Uh, the color scheme is uh, reminiscent of Moitié, so I can reuse some accessories that, you know, I bought mostly from Moitié with this dress. And yeah, I mean, it's an organ print, so pretty essential for my life. This is a dream dress of mine. For a while. This is Dim Light from Metamorphose. This has a detachable cross brooch at the top that I currently have detached. This is the medium length dress. So once again, another longer dress. Beautiful print at the bottom. So perfect for Advent and Christmas and even Easter. So as you can see, I really do like religious themes for, you know, the upcoming seasons. And what can I say? This dress is everything I dreamed it would be. Full sharing, super comfortable, goes with lots of stuff. Dream dress, I'm very excited to be getting back out. And this does have silver accents on it, kind of rare for my pieces to have stuff with silver. Right, this is a dress from Baby. This was actually my first dress from Baby. I believe this is called Quintet of Fairies. And I bought this dress originally because it is music themed. You can see that there is a piano going around the, down the bottom. And my husband is a pianist in addition to being an organist. So I wanted to have some music pieces. And what I realized after I bought it is that this is actually a Christmas themed dress. And let's see if I can find it. There is a Christmas tree on here somewhere. So I thought, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll wear it mostly for Christmas. So that is what I do and why I had this put away. Really pretty dress, has nice gold accents, and there is a detachable, these bows aren't detachable, but there is a detachable bow with a gold music note on it that comes with this dress. Here we have one that I like for Halloween. This is from Metamorphose. This came in a full set as well with a long sleeve blouse and socks and a head bow. And for whatever reason, the name of this print is eluding me at the moment. I bought this second hand, so, you know, I wasn't as invested in, like, knowing the print, I guess. But I really like this. Um, it came to me missing one of the detachable bows. It has a detachable bow on each strap, but I only have one of them. And a larger detachable bow on the front and center. Very typical of metamorphose. But also kind of a moitié-ish color scheme, but the blue is a lot more of like a gray blue, like a lot more subdued than the moitié stuff, so you can't really wear the same accessories with it all the time. But this is just a nice, real comfortable dress, perfect for October. Here we have another dress that I like for the season. This is from Alice and the Pirates, 
and this is a collaboration with Sentimental Circus. And this, the name of this print has something to do with uh, Snow White and apples, I think. So of course apples are typically seen as a fall fruit, and of course the color scheme is very Halloween-ish. So I love this dress for October, and you know, the seasons after that. It has a low waist, and that sits at my natural waist. I'll, I'll never get to find out what a low waist dress looks like on me, because I always sit at my natural waist. But this is a real fun print because of the purple and black color scheme, which is the main reason I wanted it. And last, I actually have one sweet dress in here. I always swore I would never own a snow or winter themed dress because even though I live in a climate that is very heavy on the snowfall, I hate snow. But last year this came out, and this is from Baby, and uh, I don't remember the name, I think it's uh, Usakuma's Snowy Kingdom, something to that effect. But this dress, even though it is snow themed, it actually has strawberries on it. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, a winter dress that I can actually wear with strawberry stuff. And of course it's in my favorite color, which is lavender. This has several detachable bows. One of them's real cute with little pom-poms on it. That's the one I got out at the beginning of this video. So it is kind of cool to be getting out one sweet dress because I'll be putting away so many sweet dresses. And this dress right here, I can proudly say is my favorite thing about winter. So that concludes the dresses I got out. I have a couple other dresses that I never put away that I received over the summer that I think of as more October, Halloween-y type dresses. So I will be adding those into my closet. And then I will be counting up how many I have here in addition to those and adding maybe four or five to that number just in case I get new stuff. And that is the number of dresses I will remove from my wardrobe. And of course, if I put away more than what's here, they're not all going to fit in this bag. But I actually have a second bag, and that has my winter coats and gloves and earmuffs in it. So once I get those out, I'll be able to put more summer stuff in there. So thanks for watching. It's always really fun to add this stuff back into my wardrobe, even though I'm sad for summer to be over. But I will be cohorting these pieces soon especially for Halloween and Christmas and then finally Easter, so look forward to it.